Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Joomla content management server on Ubuntu on AWS. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing of AWS and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine. So for that simply click on continue to subscribe and then you would be brought to this screen from where you need to click on accept terms and then you need to wait for the subscription validation to complete. After the validation is complete, simply click on continue to configuration. From here choose the AMI, choose the software version and most importantly choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. And when you are satisfied, simply click on continue to launch. And then on this page you get an option to launch the EC2 virtual machine from either the website or from the EC2 management console. What I like to do is that I like to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab and in here you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a name, I'm just going to call it Joomla. Scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. Scroll down and choose the instance type and then most importantly choose a key pair for SSH login. You can either create a new key pair or go with an already existing one. And then scroll down and when you're satisfied with the settings simply click on launch instance. After that. Simply click on view all instances. Now in here you can see that our newly created virtual machine is still in the pending state. So wait for it to change its state from pending to running. When in running state, we can open up the SSH terminal by clicking on our virtual machine and then right clicking and clicking on connect. Now in here we can see this command. So copy this command then open up either a command prompt or a powershell, paste in the command and replace this text in between the quotation marks for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path, simply hit enter and when prompted type in yes and hit enter once more. Now inside the SSH terminal, the very first thing that we want to do is that we want to configure the MySQL database for Joomla installation. For that click the link in the description box which would take you to the step by step blog post guide on how to set up Joomla on AWS. From here we are going to copy some of the commands starting off with this one so copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal, hit enter. And when prompted for the password, type in the password as MySQL1234. After that, you would be logged into MySQL shell. So in here, we want to reset the password for the root user. For that, simply copy these two lines. As you can see that the password is this one. So replace this text with your desired password and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. After that, we even want to create a new user for Joomla database. And then we want to create the database for Joomla. So for a new user, Copy these lines and make sure to replace the name of the user and this password for your new account or new user and paste them inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. After that as I said that we need to create a Joomla database as well. So for that copy this line which is the create database and the name of the database that we are creating is Joomla DB. So paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter one more time. So now we have configured our MySQL database for Joomla installation. Now we can access the Joomla portal. For that simply go back to EC2 management console, go back one step, click on our virtual machine, copy the public IPv4 address and paste it inside a new tab and hit enter. So you would be able to see this Joomla web installer. From here you can customize the settings to whatever you like. The very first setting is the site name. So I'm going to call my website as my website. And for the description I can say that I am the best website ever created. And then you can see that it asks us for super user account details. This super user account will be used to open up the administrator portal. So type in the email as whatever you like. I am going to type in test at test.com and type in the username and then type in the password and then reconfirm the password. When you are satisfied with these settings, simply click on next. And then you would be brought to this page where you can set up database configuration. So it is going to ask us for the username. Remember the new user that we created. So we are going to type in that name over here. And then the password for that new user. After that, we want to type in the name of our Joomla database, which in our case is Joomla DB. And then we want to click on next. Next up, it is going to show us an overview of all the settings that we are going with. If you are satisfied with these settings, then simply click on install to actually install the Joomla content management server. After the installation process is done, we need to remove the installation folders. 
For that, simply click on this yellow button that says remove installation folder. And after that, we can access the site by clicking this button or we can access the administrator portal by clicking this button. So let's first see our website. So click on site and this is the website that we have just created. Now this is empty because we have just created it. Now to access the administrator portal, simply in front of the URL, type in a forward slash and type in administrator and then hit enter. Now in here it is asking us for the super user account. So type in the details for the super user account and then hit login. So that should bring us to this control panel for our Joomla content management server. Now there are still two settings that I want to show you. First is the PHP my admin to actually access and manage the database. For that you need to copy the IP address of your virtual machine, paste it inside a new tab and at the end you need to add in PHP my admin. And now for the credentials we need to type in the credentials that we have created for our Joomla DB. After that simply click on go. This should bring you to this PHP my admin dashboard from where you can manage and access the database. Now let's head back to our control panel of our Joomla. Now the last thing that I want to show you is how to set up a mail server for your Joomla website. So for that we need to first head back to the SSH terminal and type in some commands. And the commands are listed in the blog post so go back to the blog post, scroll down and copy this command which is the sudo space send mail config and paste it inside the SSH terminal. As you can see in the SSH terminal we are working with the MySQL shell. So to quit from this MySQL shell simply type in quit and hit enter and then paste in the command that you have just copied hit enter and for every prompt that shows up type in yes and keep pressing enter. After that we want to restart the HTTP service and the send mail service. So for that simply copy these two commands and paste them inside the SSH terminal. After the restarting is done, we can head back over to our control panel. From here, we want to scroll down and click on global. And then click on server and then scroll down to mail settings. From here, we can configure our mail server. So we can choose the protocol from PHP mail, send mail or SMTP. For example, if you want to go with SMTP for Google mail, the SMTP host would be smtp.google.com and the proxy or the port number for SMTP for Google is 587. And then you need to add in authentication for SMTP as well. So type in an email which has SMTP service enabled on it and then type in the password for that email. After that you want to configure this email. So type in your email and type in the name I'm going to call it admin and type in the receiver's email and type in the name of the receiver and then you can either send the mail right away by clicking this button or you can save this SMTP configuration by clicking this green button that says save. So now you're done with setting up the Joomla content management server and PHP my admin as well as a mail server for your website. All there's left to do is actually to write content or write some articles for your website and redesign your website. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the AWS marketplace listing and for the step by step blog post guide on how to set up Joomla content management server on AWS. And in the end, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.